Hello my amazing artists. Today we are going to be working on our tissue paper collage. So I am going to let you know that you're going to need some extra supplies today but don't worry I will get to all of them. First thing is when you get your paper back you're going to take off the tissue paper. Now I'm going to put it just over here because I might want to use it later but I don't have to. At the end of class, if you have any extras, don't forget to check under and around your desk. We'll throw them in the garbage. Okay, so my paper looks like this. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the color got pretty much all over the paper and that's what I want. So I'm going to draw five circles. So I can use a tracer and I think I'm gonna give you this roll of tape that's covered in plastic. Um, because it'll be easy for me to clean after um, to do your circle. So this will be two different kinds of circles, a big one around the outside or a smaller one around the inside. And I need to fit five, so I'm not gonna start right in the middle because it's gonna be hard for me to do five extra or four other circles. So I am going to start in the corner. So I'm gonna take my pencil, I'm gonna trace, ooh, the plastic is a little bit bumpy. I'm gonna trace around the inside. So there's one. I'm gonna go right next to it, hold it with one hand, trace around it with the other. That's two. Now I can use other stuff to make my circles. If I want a really small one, maybe I can trace my glue cap. Three. If you are super good at drawing and you're feeling really confident, you could just draw one freehand. It's okay if it's not perfect. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. I need one more. I really like this green down here. Five. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to free these shapes from the paper. I don't actually need to cut them perfectly right out of this giant piece of paper. I'm just going to cut a square around it. There's one of my circles, just freeing them from the paper. There's another one of my circles, that's two. This big one right here. There we go, three, four, and five. So I didn't draw any circles on this, so I'm just gonna put it over there. I might wanna use it later, I don't know. All right, so I've got my um, paper all ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna start cutting these out more carefully. So I'll start with this big one. My, I'm a righty, so I hold my scissors in my right hand and my thumb is always at the top. My other hand, my left hand, is gonna hold my paper and I gotta be careful to cut my fingies. I want those fingies. So I'm going to start cutting from an angle. I'm gonna come in, I'm touching the line now. And as I move, I'm gonna turn my paper. So my scissor hand is moving open and close. And my left hand, this hand over here, is moving the paper around. Turning it in a circle. Turn it around. There we go, okay. These are definitely trash, so I'm gonna put these over here. Remember, we're not getting up and down, <clears throat> excuse me, from my desks, we are just gonna um, make a little pile of our scraps and we'll throw them away later. So I'm gonna finish cutting out all my circles. I'm gonna open and close my scissors carefully. Take your time, guys. If you rush, that's how mistakes happen. I know when I'm trying to go really quickly, oh my goodness, I always spill something or I make a mistake and then I have to go back and do it all again and it ends up taking even more time than I had originally planned. Okay, we've got two more. So I'm gonna finish cutting out these circles and I will be right back. Hello, all right, so I finished cutting out all of my circles. This one I ended up cutting out a little bigger. So I'm gonna erase all those pencil lines that I drew originally. All right, looks good. 
All right, so now I'm going to arrange them on my paper. Can you guess what we're making? I'm gonna arrange them on my paper. So I'm gonna put this one down here, this one up in the corner. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll switch this. You can overlap them too. Ooh, I kinda like that one. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. I've got them all spread out on my paper. Uh, I decided to overlap some, but you don't have to. You can have it coming off the page a little bit, you decide. So now that I've got them arranged the way I like it, I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm gonna glue them down. I'm gonna flip them all over and I'm gonna glue around the outside and maybe a diagonal line in the middle. Put it right down there. There's one. Two. Don't forget to massage your paper so the glue really sticks down there. Three. At first I didn't like the white spots in my paper, but the more I glue them down, the more I, I like it. I think it adds a cool um, contrast to the black. Four, one more. If you guys have extra paper like this and you want to cut out more circles, you totally can. Five, okay. Don't forget to twist back down your glue stick so he's nice and snug. Put the cap back on. All right, this is where we're gonna get a little bit creative. So I'm going to give you some metallic crayons. So metallic means shiny, glittery, um, some sort of metal element to them. So you might get a box like this. You might get a just a few crayons wrapped up in a rubber band. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm gonna try to make sure everybody gets some. You are going to decide what colors you want to use and how you want to decorate. So if you haven't guessed already, solar system. I'm thinking we're kind of making our own planets, our own galaxies, right? So you can, with all these little designs here, you can kind of go around them with your crayon to make some texture. You can, maybe your planet is a water planet, so you want to add some um, shiny waves. It might be hard to see on the camera, but I promise you it looks really cool. The lighter colors will show up on the black paper. So if you wanted to add some stars, you can, or a meteor maybe going by. All right. Once you have added some decorations with your crayons, obviously you will do more than I just did, but just for time's sake, I'm gonna move on. You are going to get a little paint cup with white paint, and you might have a popsicle stick or a wider uh, wooden stick to do with this. You're gonna tap the flat side in the paint, and you're gonna make some more stars. So I'm gonna go make an X, and then I'm gonna drag out some of those lines to make them look a little bit bigger. Here we go. Pretty cool. All right. Yeah. And you can also, if you wanted to draw a, like a comet. Yeah, it looks pretty good. You could take your popsicle stick and kind of make some lines that curve around showing the motion of that comet, right? Okay, and lastly, if you wanted to use your tissue paper and glue it back onto your paper and add some more texture, I'll show you what that might look like. Make a little spot for my with my glue stick, stick it down there. You can crinkle it up. Oh yeah, oh you guys, this looks so cool. You should definitely do this because then our tissue paper doesn't go to waste and it adds some really cool 
Wow. Oh my goodness. I love that. It looks like little mountains on my mountain, on my, <laughs> my planet. Really cool. Okay, guys, um, I will let you get started. So don't forget, first thing, draw and trace your circles. Okay. Cut them out. You need at least five. Glue them down once you've decided where you want them to go. Add some cool shiny color with your crayons. You can add some white paint designs. And last but not least, make sure you add some tissue paper back onto your planets. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, guys. Um, good luck. Have fun. Can't wait to see your outer space pictures.